to intermittent fast or not to intermittent fast? That is the question. You guys, we've got a lot of questions from the community asking us, what is intermittent fasting? Should I do it? Is it right for me? I'm a guy, I'm a girl, I'm this age, I have this goal. So today, we're gonna answer the question, should I be intermittent fasting? Let me start off by saying this. Dan and I use intermittent fasting almost every single day and it's worked really well for us and many other community members. A lot of people have gone through awesome weight loss transformations because they found intermittent fasting as a tool that just made getting lean easier for them. So it might work for you, it might not. Go through this video, learn a little bit more about intermittent fasting. By the end of the video, hopefully, you'll have an idea regarding whether you should start intermittent fasting or you should just keep doing what you're already doing. Before getting into whether you should do it or not, let's review what intermittent fasting is. So intermittent fasting is just splitting up your day into a feeding window and a fasting window. So specifically we're going to be talking about the lean gains today. It's something that we use for the most part. Sometimes we get a little bit outside of the typical protocol, but for the most part we're fasting for 16 hours and then we're feasting for 8 hours. For example, we'll stop eating at 8 p.m. the night before, start eating again the next day at 12 p.m. So it's 16 hours where we don't eat and then we'll eat from that 12 p.m. to 8 p.m., so that eight hours of eating. Simple enough, right? Now, why in the world would anyone wanna do this? I mean, you can't skip meals, right? Like, that's bad for you. Wait on it. How about the fact that when you do intermittent fasting, you have greater insulin sensitivity, which allows your body to make better use of carbohydrates? Or, how about the fact that a wide variety of potential health benefits come with intermittent fasting, including cardiovascular health and life extension through neuroprotective mechanisms, such as the protective mechanisms against brain diseases, such as Alzheimer's? You you also get improved mental alertness and a boost in metabolism and overall energy, especially during these fasted periods of time. How about the increased levels of growth hormone while you're fasted, which also helps you fuel your metabolism into fat burning mode and make sure that you maintain the muscle mass that you have. Let's talk about appetite suppression. Most people think that if you're not eating, you're going to be ravenously hungry. It's not true. Once you get into a rhythm after two or three weeks of doing intermittent fasting, you get into this state of being where you just feel comfortable not eating. You don't feel desperate all the time. You're ready to eat when your fast is over. Let's talk about the practicality of it. No one likes to be the Tupperware person who has to bring food to work in like four different Tupperware containers eating every two to three hours. No, when you intermittent fast, you can split up your day into this fasted window where you don't have to worry about food at all. And in the afternoon and the evening, you can have two big, delicious, satiating meals. I don't know about you, but I don't like eating small meals. I don't like to eat like a rabbit. I want to eat big meals and I want to feel satisfied by the end. And so that is a really big one for me as well and you might resonate with this as well. Wait, but I thought eating a bunch of small meals was way better for your metabolism and if you go a long period of time without eating, you're going to end up getting fat and your metabolism is going to slow down. False. This is one of the biggest things in pseudoscience that keeps on getting passed over and over and over. It's just not true. You can't find one medical study that's going to say this. Really, we know the most important thing, period, is the total calories and macronutrients that you're consuming in a day. But beyond that, meal frequency, not really important. So you might as well optimize for convenience and overall lifestyle enjoyment. Listen, if you're a big nerd when it comes to this research science when it, regarding nutrition, please tell us if you found studies that definitively show that you're gonna have a faster functioning metabolism when you eat more frequent meals because we're always open to learning more about the research out there. But what we found personally is that the research that does say that, well, they try to replicate these studies and they find different results. So it's really hard to definitively say if you eat many meals a day, you're gonna have a faster functioning metabolism versus just eating two big meals. With that being said, something you might want to protect against is maintaining your muscle mass. Now, it's not going to be super, super important for someone who doesn't really care that much about maintaining their muscle or putting on lean muscle, but if you're someone who wants to you know, create that zen dude physique, have nice sculpted arms, shoulders, chest, and just maintain a good amount of muscle mass, we recommend taking branched chain amino acids in the morning to help you maintain an anabolic state while you're fasting. So essentially just giving your muscles the nutrients they need to maintain the mass because branched chain amino acids are the building blocks of protein, and protein 
protein is the building blocks of muscle. And so while you're fasting, you're not getting protein, so you can replace that with branch chain amino acids. So if you want the same branch chain amino acids that we use personally, we use Athletic Greens and we'll link it in the description below. We found it to be the highest quality branch chain amino acids out there. That's why we recommend it. That's why we take it on a daily basis while we're fasting and also pre-workout as well. So intermittent fasting has all these benefits, but is it right for you personally? Well, it's right for you if you can answer yes to these following questions. If you're someone who often overeats or binge eats, if that's true for you, you should definitely try intermittent fasting because it will help you solve that problem. One of your goals is to spend less time thinking about food and food prep. If that's you, then definitely try intermittent fasting because you're eating less meals, it's just more convenient. You are not a competitive athlete. If you're a competitive athlete training multiple hours a day, don't worry about intermittent fasting. But if you are not one, then go ahead and give intermittent fasting a shot. You are over 18 years old. Now, if you're under 18, you probably have a lot of development still going on within your body. So we don't wanna recommend that you mess your hormones through doing things like fasting. Not that it can be dangerous, but we kinda of wanna cover our own butts here. So if you are under 18, just wait until you're over 18. If you are over 18, you can give it a shot. If you like to eat delicious feasts, this is one of the main reasons why we do intermittent fasting because we love eating delicious feasts in the afternoon and into the evening. And doing intermittent fasting allows you to do that because you have more calories to work with later in the day. So if that's you, then go ahead and give it a shot. And finally, if you're not pregnant, then you can give it a shot. If you are pregnant, don't start doing fasting, obviously, but I feel like we should say this. If you're pregnant, don't do this. If you're not pregnant, go for it. Here's a caveat to this. If you are a woman and you wanna give intermittent fasting a shot, we recommend starting off with a, a longer eating window, so 12 hours eating, 12 hours fasting. See how you feel and if your hormones and everything feel good, then you can try shrinking that window down to around 10 hours of eating and 14 hours of fasting. And again, listen to your body, see how you feel, play it by ear, but also understand that for the first two to three weeks, you're gonna be hungry, this is normal, you can blunt that appetite by using caffeine, so having coffee in the morning and drinking lots of water but it's gonna be uncomfortable for the first two three weeks after that way easier feels good it's completely normal if you want a more in-depth how-to video on intermittent fasting we'll link it up in the top corner of the screen right now Dan did an awesome video really breaking down everything you'd ever want to know about intermittent fasting and how to start doing it so this video is to basically answer the question should I be doing intermittent fasting Dan's video is how exactly can I do it finally you guys if you want to join a community of other people getting lean, having fun here at Zendu Fitness. We have a free four week challenge along with the Facebook accountability group. We'll link that in the description below for you. We'll also put it up here in the corner of the screen. Click whatever you want, just join the group, join us, join the family. We'll help you with reaching your getting lean and living an overall awesome life goals. And final thing guys, those branched chain amino acids I mentioned before, we do take those while we're fasting and we do take them pre-workout. So if you do wanna try them out, take five grams in the morning, another five grams before your workout. And if you want the ones that we use personally and recommend, we put it in the description below for you. It's by Athletic Greens. It's the best, most high quality branched chain amino acids that we've taken personally. There's a lot out there. There's a lot to search through. So we wanted to give you our recommendation in case you wanted to take what the Zen dudes take it's down in the description. You guys, thank you, thank you. Thank you! Thank you for watching this video. Appreciate you so much. Every single one of you in this community, the gratitude is just coming out of my ears because this community grows day by day and each one of you is so special and so appreciated and everything that you're doing in here helps us build this movement together. It's a co-creative process. So again, thank you for your comments, likes, subscribes, shares, all that super, super important. If you're not subscribed to the community yet, you can hit the subscribe button. It's in the corner of the screen right now. Do that, you'll officially become a member of the community, a Zen dude or a dudette. That's it, deuces Zen dude nation.